family good afternoon good evening depending on the time of the day you're watching this Mulita here so today's video is actually very different i haven't done this before i am going to be doing a mug bang is that how it's pronounced mug bang mug bang but you know one of those eating and talking videos all right uh i have written down some things that i want to talk about on this paper here so that way i'm not like all over the place all right what am i having i am having jump rope lead <laughs> i am having jollof rice to be clear liberian jollof rice <laughs> yes so i have my rice in here here if you can see can you and i also have stew with ox stew this is ox stew oh my god it's just so delicious all right and i have sour sour juice i also have my water okay i have water underneath my table to wash my hands just in case i have to all right so let me stop talking your ears off mm. and start eating bon appetit all right so first thing first, grow in, growing up in Liberia, growing up in an African household, talking while eating. Mm. Food is so good. Talking while eating is a terrible habit. You can get slapped for that. Right about now, I hope my kids don't see this video because they get punished for talking while eating. You get yelled at, you get your food taken away. I have told them so many times, like, if you don't stop talking, every time they, they start eating, this is why I tell them, right? You have a choice. If you want to talk, get away from the table if you want to eat, eat. That's what I usually tell them. So... The next thing, growing up in Africa, growing up in an African household, let me know if you relate to this. Sharing food with a friend. So, when you're sharing food with people, what that is is, let's say you have a friend or a few friends, your mom cook, and then they bring the food together mm, for you to eat. Some kids have this habit. If their parents don't put a stop to it, before they bring their food outside, they go ahead and take out some and hide it. Then bring the little one outside. Mm. To eat with you. So. I tried that before right. I took out some food. To hide. And then. Yes. Yes. Alright can you tell dad to give you rice please. What do you mean he don't have rice. He gave you rice already? No, you didn't. You didn't. Okay, I'm coming then. Okay. okay, so like I was saying before my daughter came in. Yeah, so I tried it before. I tried putting food away while I brought it the rest outside to eat with my friends. Right when we're almost done eating. Let's see, I gotta wash my hands. Right when we're almost done eating, my mom went. Mm. My mom, where am I kidding?
came outside with the bowl of rice that I hid from my friends. And she went ahead and said, Y'all can sit down and eat at my children. I was so mad, but we all ate. And then another eating technique. So there's this thing when you guys are eating, you everybody have a bowl underneath it. Wondering what you're doing with it. So you're all eating together. You're going to go ahead like this and take a handful of rice that you know fully well. You cannot put in your mouth, right? And then you go like so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and basically spill the rest in the bowl that's underneath your mouth so that when you're done eating you have food in this bowl to eat by yourself listen if you grew up in a Liberian household or in Africa and you guys did this please tell me oh my god that was so Hilarious when I think about it, but yes, we did. I did it too. Mm. This oxtail is so good. Why did I even use spoon? I'll put this spoon over. And just eat with my hand. Another thing we're eating, right? Another thing we're eating. There was this other rules, right? That when you guys are eating... And you drop rice. They're going to count the grain of rice that you drop. And all the people you're eating with, depending on how many grain of rice you drop, they will take a handful. If it's two grain of rice that you drop, they will take two handful each before it's your time to eat again. Can you believe that? Yes, it happened. Oh, why? Listen, lipstick, lip gloss is going to be gone by the time I'm done eating. We all know that. Guava juice is so good. So, yeah. Everybody's going to take a handful or uh, two handful. If that three rice, you know, rice, you waste three handful of rice. Before... Is your turn again definitely let me know if you actually experienced that it was terrifying it was really terrible it was sad okay and then another thing tell me if you guys did this if you're Liberian if you're African from back home I call everywhere in Africa back home because once I'm African I feel like I'm from every country but yeah from Liberia if you're Liberian or any kind of African, or even if you guys experience this, if you're not African, but you experienced this before. But in the African household, they said kids don't eat meat. <laughs> Can you believe this? So, when you guys are eating with adults and they share the meat, they don't give you. If you're the youngest, you're not getting no meat. So, to all my aunties and uncles that they used to give me meat, I bet eating meat. This is a big old oxtail that I'm eating by myself. Yes. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. So, and then we came out with this myth. We said that when you don't eat meat, you can be stupid. Yes. When you don't eat me, you become stupid. 
So we strongly believe for the longest that our parents wanted us to be stupid. Who says that? How does your parent give breath to you and want you to be stupid? Hmm? How is that even a thing? How is that even a thing? So, let me know if you did this one too, Ray, back in school. Asking for food. Please give me. And then, when you don't want your friend to give you food, ah, you don't want your friend to beg you, you say, please don't beg me. So you have to say that before the person say, please give me. So it's, please give me, please don't beg me. So when I'm saying, please don't beg me. Please get me, please don't bake me. So you can use both. You can ask them, but then put behind it, please don't bake me. Mm. Listen, if you're still watching up until now and you're not yet subscribed, stop playing with me. I know there's something about me that you like, that's why you're here. So definitely subscribe. When you do, hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload from me again. Now let's continue eating, right? And senior in school, the senior class is, I, I feel like they have more rights than teachers if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, because a senior can discipline you without getting or uh, without getting questioned by anyone. So they used to take so much advantage of that. They give you punishment. And listen, the schools out here in the state. I say to these kids, you guys are blessed. Okay? Back home. You work for your teacher. As in, your punishment can be fashion water or cleaning their farm. Yeah, you heard me. I said it. And um, there was this thing, right? Because my dad used to be a principal back home. And I'm telling you, when I said they're straight, they are so straight. When curfew, during school days, school's night, there's a straight curfew. At a certain time, like 8 or 9, no student is supposed to be outside. So... He has the senior class again, few boys appointed to be walking around the community. If they catch you outside, even your parents know that you're not supposed to be outside around that time. So they're not sending you on no errands, I'm telling you. Mm. So if they catch you outside, and it's a sweet night. Just leave your own work off. When you go to school in the morning. You are so in for trouble. That's how they'll beat you. All like this. If you ever got your fingers like this to get beaten. Then you're African. Then you are Liberian. I was this person, right? I'm so afraid of beating. Mm. I'm that one person that... I... Ooh, my rice is... My rice is finished, guys. Mm. I'm eating every bit of it.
I'm that person that all you have to say is I will be you. That's all you need to say. You don't have to be me, oh. I will legit pee on myself. That's how I used to be. Pee on myself. I so used to be afraid of beating. So I did my best to stay out of trouble. And then. Mm. And then another thing they used to do in school was when you're staying in line because in the morning oh my goodness i miss school back home. you have to have devotion pray before you start your day so while you're in line my dad have not just my dad but the teachers including the principal of course walk around with a handkerchief white they have few of them and your information if i say in line you might not your information for devotion before anything start they're gonna walk around with that handkerchief so thank god there was nothing such thing as makeup walk around with that handkerchief and wipe it behind your ears if that handkerchief come back dirty they're putting you aside you know what that means that means you didn't take shower this morning before you came to school not only that they're looking behind your ear they're checking your nails your nails are to be short and clean no dirt they're looking at your uniform it's nowhere it should be wrinkled if you have everything right if you have almost everything right and one wrong you're still in for trouble you're gonna get beaten one in front of the class you're gonna get sent home to go take a shower if it was your ear that was dirty to go take a shower and come back if it was a uniform that wasn't iron, go iron it and come back. And now that you came back, even though you were already on time in school, right? Okay. Come back. You're considered late. I'm trying to get every single bone out of flesh off of this thing because I didn't have the chance to eat meat as a kid. <laughs> So yeah, let me know which one of these days you experience growing up back home. If you like this video, If you like this video and you would love to see more of it, comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and let's have a discussion. Let me know what part of this thing that you experienced from your country, from back home or in the state here. Thank you all again for watching. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.